Hi and welcome to my review videos. This time I'm doing the BDR, the BDR G1B to be exact. Uh, the BDR G1B is the tier 5 French heavy tank and it's very overpowered I have to say. Um, it has pretty good armor for tier 5 also. 60 millimeters is not a lot but let's say that only the tier 5s can penetrate you. Every tier 4 or T3, uh, tier 3 can't penetrate you. Um, this is this tank is very good with the 90 millimeters. The 90 millimeters on this tank is just beast, and it's it's worth it after you uh, after you bought the B1. Like the B1 was a very piece of shit. I hated the tank, but the BDR is a very very good tank. Um, also, this is not my account. This is friend uh, friend's account. I'm just um, reviewing some of his tanks. Be uh, otherwise, I will run out of tanks. Um, but I have done this uh, tank, uh, tank in the past, I have a MX 50 b right now, so um, the BDR, I played this tank, and I played this tank a lot, but the weak spots on this tank are so big. Here's a big weak spot, here's a big weak spot, and here's a big weak spot, like most of the tank tanks is a weak spot, and also here. So, typical French, low, low tier, they have big weak spots. Um, and it's very easy to hit them from the sides also because it only has 40 millimeter side armor but it has some good back armor so I recommend for you to shoot on the sides instead of the back because the back is sloped and uh, it has more armor than on the sides the sides is non sloped and like this is the biggest hull what I what I nearly have ever seen in my entire career of uh, World of Tanks um, it looks very well and it's very good sloped that's something that the French know about, uh, how to slope tanks. Um, this tank does a lot of damage thanks to its 90mm. It does around 240 damage, that's a lot for a tier 5. And it shoots AP shells, so it's not like the KV-1 that you do 400 um, damage, but you only can, HE, uh, can shoot uh, HE shells. You can shoot AP shells, and the penetration is not bad either, you, you can penetrate a lot. But not with the previous one. The reload time is not bad either. So average damage per average um, damage per minute is very high. But the the accuracy is not that good. So don't don't try to snipe with this tank. Um, the turret itself is oops wrong turret. The turret is eh, pretty good. It's typical heavy. It's nothing nothing very special. But with the stock turret you have a lesser big weak spot so that's a good thing also but still you need a turret to mount a 90 millimeters and a 75 is really bad on this tank um, the penetration is only 100 millimeters it shoots fast uh, but that's it you do more damage um, you do the, you do the same damage with the 75 as the 90 uh, and then you have this B1 um, gun and that's just horrible the B1 it's gun um, it's a pretty fast tank for a heavy tank. 30 km an hour is pretty fast. The KV-1 doesn't go that fast. Um, fast as the BDR. Um, the engine power is not that great. It's typical low tier French. Um, the radio is 710. That's quite a big radio. Um, the things I want to recommend you here on are the plus 5... Uh, no, not the plus 5%. Uh, an enhanced uh, gun laying device so you have a plus 10% to aiming speed. The aiming speed is pretty high in this tank. Um, two and a half seconds is not that high but for me it's very high so plus 10% can become handy. Minus 10% to load time because this this gun pretty this gun uh, reloads very slow so that's why I say to try to to try to uh, mount a medium caliber tank rammer especially like Mostly you're gonna end up top tier, and the most of the tier three, tier fours reload very fast. And if they can flank you, you have to reload, and you can only do one shot at them. And they have shot at you like four times until they do a shot, until you do a shot. Um, the camouflage e equipment is always handy; it's very cheap. But the only two things I recommend for you is only the minus 10% to load time you're gonna use that on the future tanks also because the French have a really they have just a stupid but it's stu um, that auto loader is you need to minus 10% to load time so why not buy it on the BDR already um, 
the, the shell setup has lots of AP shells, a little bit of HE shells in case you, you're gonna run up in higher tiers. But the skills what I recommend for you to use is six sense, of course, that's always the first skill I research on every tank so you know that you're spotted. Eagle Eye, because you, you're aiming a lot and you can see where the critical damage are. Uh, repairs and camouflage. Um, but that's I want it. Uh, what you want to use here is snapshot um, because the the turret. Th th this tank is not that bad for shooting on the move. I have to say so. With snapshot, you can even increase it even more. So that's really handy. Um, the armorer, the the accuracy of the gun is just horrible. So with armor, you can improve it a little bit more. And that's it I think on the loader and of the common skills of course uh, what do you see here is clutch breaking always research clutch breaking first on all t tanks also um, smooth white so you increase even the accuracy on the move even more um, off road driving controlled impact this skill you want to, to research for future tanks because the future tanks of the French the French heavies are very light and they do poorly damage if you ram into them so controlled impact you may want to research it now so you can use it later um, oh oops that's the same cool member the thing what you want to research here is relaying because mostly you as a heavy tank you're mostly in in the middle of your team um, and extended signal range for later also because the later French tank can snipe very good French tanks sorry um, Advent Lush and Antitution because the high reload time but that's it um, I have nothing much to say about this tank because this this tank is so average it's, it's just a very average tank you can't, can't, you can't go uh, more average than this one but I will say more about this tank in the replay um, I have played Hi, welcome back. Um, this is a not not a great example uh, for this tank because um, I'm a, I'm in a tier seven match, um, but still in a tier seven match you can do a lot of damage because most of these guys we can penetrate. We can penetrate as you the Jack the Jagdpanther, I think not, but the Cromwell we can penetrate, the Jagdpanzer V we can penetrate, the VK uh, the VK we can penetrate. Nearly all of the it's tanks really except low, the Jagdpanther. Um, and you will see here that how it feels it's it's not that bad for a French tank here you have after the B1 that this tank is so fast because the B1 has such a poor maneuverability I hated the tank I say it again I hated it um, because of its poor penetration and this is how to use it let me speed up this part um, because I want to hold this uh, review short because I have nothing much to say about this tank oh, looks It like plays like an average tier 5 It's not like you need any special skills for it to play Just doing a random shot, but what you see here is that the accuracy is so poor Like I've missed a lot of shots here See I aim for his hill and I hit him in the turret the MVR is pretty good turret armor, as I have to say, like, even with just sixes I sometimes can't penetrate the M4 in the turret though, not in the hull, the hull is just paper armor of the M4. Uh, the the Jagdpanzer 4 got away, but we'll move up to them. I got a 1-12 on, um, I got 1... 1000 XP of this battle, but keep in mind that my friend Mr. Numenex doesn't have a premium account, so that's around 1500 XP. So that's still a good battle, 1500 XP. And let me speed up the spot. I love to be one and um, the um, the how does it called the BDR. I love the BDR in the past. This was such a great thing. And the the ARR the ARL uh, your next tank. Has a very good gun. If you research the the last 90 millimeters on the ARL, the ARL, sorry, <laughs> can't pronounce it uh, properly. Um, that penetration of the ARL, 
ARL is um, 170 millimeters, and that's a lot for tier 6. Like even in back in the past, um, sometimes you ended up in tier 9s. Um, when I when I had a ARL, and even in tier 9 I did damage because of its great penetration of the ARL. And I've got a very lucky kill here. I. I just shot and I thought nah I wasn't, wasn't going to hit him but I hit him and I was like whoa that's some that's a lucky shot and the VK normally the VK shouldn't be Damn a problem it. for me unless he is sloping his armor like he did now because the VK has uh, nearly non-sloped armor, but if you have non-sloped armor, you can slope it by yourself really good by parking your... Uh, by going a little bit to the white. You can slope it. And my team finished him off, thank you for that, because he could have killed me. Because of its great 88mm gun. But even with the 88mm gun on the VK, I think the v the v the 88 on the VK has 130 mm penetration and this one has also 130 mm penetration. It's like nearly the same gun, only the VK um, reloads a little bit faster than the BDR. And that's a very good sniping tank. Um, from now here I I haven't had any kills yet. So I'm just going to speed up the spot because there's nothing much to see. Voila, um, I'll see you in the garage. I tried to uh, hold this review short, so see ya. So hi and welcome back. Um, something what I want to say also about the BDR is that um, please, please, but please, um, I know it sucks if you have the BDR and you have like the 75 millimeters of the B1 there on. Please keep playing that tank until you have the 90 millimeters because that tank is so good if you have it upgraded. And the BDR is one of the most overpowered tier fives I think um, because of its great 90 millimeters. If you have the 90 millimeters, that tank is beast. And I say it again, I say said it like through the whole video. Um, but the 90 millimeters is so good. It's worth it to to research it. I think it's around 9,000 uh, research points, so that's pretty good. Um, but for the rest, um, demonstration rules, and you can choose a tank for my garage. What do you want to see me review next? Um, post it in the comments below, and also try to check out my channel, um, so you know what tanks I already have reviewed. Uh, next week we are going to. Discuss the Kernavan. The Kernavan is a tier 8 British heavy tank. Uh, the problem is that I earned so fast experience on the British tanks that, oops, uh, that I have to say, say it like to me like stop because I have to do a video of it. Um, otherwise, I had to conquer it now. Um, and I have mu much to say about this tank. I like this tank a lot, so uh, that's uh, that will be coming up next week. And also what I want to sell, uh, say about the BDR is that don't camp with it. Try to stick to your team and don't try to snipe with it. Um, it's a heavy tank, it has pretty good armor. Try to do something with it. And it has a great 90mm so you can be a frontline rusher and try to take on the, the more, the more um, armored targets. Instead of the less armor targets like uh, a T1 heavy or a KV1, you can easily penetrate a KV1 KV with a BDR. So try try to take on uh, the the more difficult targets instead of the easy targets. Uh, let let the team do the rest of the work, and don't expose the weak spots because the weak spots are so big. Um, but that's it, and I will see you next time. Bye.